their faces. Hi. Hi, everybody. We're excited to be drying a Mommy and Me Flamingo. It's May 1st. Happy May Day, everyone. Flamingos! <laughs> Hello, Caden and Emma. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you guys are having a good Friday. Our Friday is flying by, right? <laughs> Those are cute emojis, the new, what is it, like hugs or something? Hi, Avery. I didn't see it. What was it? It's a new emoji, like a um, circle hugging a heart. Hello, Angela. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Michelle just said some. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. That's fun. We are going to draw flamingos. Hi, Cora and Mandy. Thanks for joining us today, you guys. <laughs> That's Caden. He's having a heyday. Hello, hello. Hi, Chrissy and Lucy and Sam. Hello, hello. You say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it might be time to start. Should we start our drawing? Yeah. All right. So let's start our drawing. So I am going to be drawing in a big fat Sharpie. I drew my sample with a really thin pen. This is um, and so Taylor's gonna be using that today. You can also um, draw with just your color crayons or your uh, color pencils or your markers. You don't have to outline um, <clears throat> them in black or of course you can definitely use a pencil and um, draw with pencil. Yay, everyone's excited. Okay, so you figure out what you want to draw with. Um, we're going to be <clears throat> painting ours in with watercolor, but again, you can use crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever you have at home to um, color in your flamingos and make your artwork today. So I'm going to flip the camera down. There we go. Put it on our space here. I have a bigger piece of paper. <laughs> Your paper is bigger, yes. <laughs> I just have a regular eight and a half by 11 cardstock and Taylor's going to be using um, watercolor paper. Let me move this down so I can see comments. Yay, excited for the flamingos. Oh yeah, Beverly, Adeline, and Audrey are under your mom's account. No problem. I just see um, the names, and <laughs> if that is your mom's name that I'm commenting on, then I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so let's have a look at our sample here. We have our little flamingo that's overlapping the mama flamingo. So we're going to start with the, the baby or the little flamingo and um, then draw the mama flamingo. If you only want to draw one flamingo with us, totally, just draw one. The me flamingo. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. If you are a boy and you don't want to have a crown on your on the little baby flamingo, then you can put a hat on there or even like a little bow tie. So you can create your own art however you want. We're gonna start out by drawing this little one what I want you to do is think of how long you want the legs, right? So we want a little bit of room so that there's legs. <clears throat> and then we're going to start the head. So on our paper, we're going to figure, okay, the legs are about here, body is about here, head's about here. It's kind of in the middle, up and over a little bit. Okay? So we are going to start with a curve line for the head. So if you want to start out just about here and no, you can, right there. Okay, so 
a curved arc up for the top of the head. I can't hold it. Yeah. Okay. You have to hold it like that. I know. You can use something else if that one's too tricky. Wow. It still is Do you want to use a pencil and then we can um, outline it with that? Or do you want to use a Sharpie? Just go for the Sharpie. Do you have like another thin Sharpie? Mm, no. Not up here. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Just draw with the pencil and then I can, I'll go over it with that if you want a really thin line. I'll go over your drawing and then we can erase it. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Oh, yeah, your pencil. You can use my pencil. Okay, so let's get Taylor ahead on there. There. Okay. So we're just going to do over and around. We're going to come all the way around. Not all the way around, but yep. There's the head. Okay, so now we're going to put on the neck. So from this point, here, watch me, honey. From this point right here, you're going to come down and then out for the chest. So come down a little bit and then out for the chest. So we're going down. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can bring your thing down. And then out for the chest of your penguin. Penguin? I mean penguin. Oh my gosh, I was on yesterday. So for your flamingo. So come down. Flamingos have long necks, right? Come down to about here. And then start. Then we're going to start shaping it. So then you're going to bring your flamingo body up. And start shaping it up. It's okay. Some of these lines are kind of tricky. So just take your time. down. Yep. And if you want to start up here, that's fine too. So we're going to come to the top of the head and we're going to come down. We're going to stop here. So here's the neck. You want some help? Yeah. Okay. So bring your line around like this. You got to watch me. Bring your line about like this to start forming your neck. Yep, and then come up here for the body. This is going to be the top of the body. So come up here. And if you want to add a few feathers here, you can just do a zigzag. That's good. Leave it like that. That's great. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so now you're going to come down with your chest of your flamingo. Come down and then come back up here and meet with that one. Or it can go off the page. It can be a big body flamingo and go right off the page. Right? They don't have to look the same as mine. Perfect. I love it. There you go, some feathers. All right, so now we're going to add some feathers on the inside. So I'm just going to start kind of um, just a little bit in from this neck point. And I'm going to come up at an arc. Up at an arc. And then down, kind of around a little down, and then back up, down, up, down, up, down, and I'm going to kind of follow the direction of my, yeah, perfect. Yeah, I love it. All right, so now... Awesome. Now let's add our beak in. So the flamingo beak is kind of long, right? And it curves down a little bit. So if you're a little flamingo, let's see, my pen isn't working. We're going to come down. So we're going to start, it's about in the middle, but you can put your beak wherever you want it. Down in the middle and curve Whoa, down. Whoa, that's long. That is long, but that's okay. <laughs> you don't like it that long? So just kind of curve it down, curve it down. There you go. And then we're going to come back up. We're going to, let's make a little point. We want the, the base of the beak to be a little wider, right? So make that little point here. And then we're going to connect those. Connect those. 
connect them. Perfect. How are you guys doing? Get some thumbs up. Everybody's got the start of their flamingo. <laughs> okay. Sit back, honey. <laughs> Silly girl. Okay, so how about we draw the legs? Should we have her not floating? Draw the legs? Uh -huh. Okay, so they have the little bit of um, feathers kind of on their legs. So I just did a tiny little V. Yay, there's thumbs up and hearts. All right, we're doing good. So a tiny little V. And people in the circle hugging, hugging the hearts. Yay. Okay. Got a tiny little V where our leg is going to come from. And then we're going to pull it straight down. This one is not going to be bent. It's going to come down. And the little feet are kind of like... Um, just like one, two, three, and they kind of, I'll put this a little bit closer. They're kind of just like webbed. Let's see. You guys can see that. Okay. So you have your leg on there. Mine's going off. Yours going off. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to add that second little leg in there. We're going to add another little one really close. Another little nub. Nubbin. And then you're going to bring it out. Now we're going to come out to about here at an angle. It's going to kind of make the number four. Yep. And you're going to come across. And then this dangling. So it's going to kind of point down, right? He's just hanging out. Perfect. All right, so let's do the eye. Now, if you want to do an open eye, you can draw an open eye. This one is kind of closed. An angle, a little curved line for the eyes, just like that. And then some eyelashes. Now their beak is fun, just the tip is dark. So, and it's kind of random dark. So I'm just gonna kind of scribble in, scribble in a dark tip of the beak for the flamingos. Awesome. Perfect. All right, so now if you want to... It's like a, hole, a breathing hole in it. And look at well, it. you probably won't be able to see it because it sits more on the top. You can put that in if you want. Did you, I make that new emoji? No, I didn't make that new emoji. Okay, so now we're going to start on the Mama Flamingo... Okay, you ready for the mama? You grab your pencil. Mm -hmm. So the mama's head is up here higher, right? <clears throat> so I'm gonna start, and it's a little bit, so here's the middle of my page, it's a little bit over. So I'm gonna start here. Now I drew a flower on her head. If you wanna draw the flower on your head, you absolutely can. I did that first because when you use a sharpie you can't erase but if you want to draw the head in pencil and then go back and add in your flower then you could totally do that but since I'm using a sharpie I'm hey, gonna draw it's working the... yeah oh cool okay why don't you move on to them to the mom flamingo and then you can do that after so that we can all kind of stay on our drawing okay. task okay Okay. I just use this. You can use that, yeah. Nice. So I am up here at the top. Here's the middle, and I'm bumping over just a little bit. And I'm going to draw the circle of my flower. And it's small because it's on her head, right? Of course you can draw yours. Whatever. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to draw a flower petal. One flower petal. Two... Three, four, five. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going to add in my leaves. So I'm going to add in a leaf here. I'm going to put a little line in the middle. And I'm going to add another leaf over here. I'm going to put a line in the middle. And then a leaf over here. And then I'm going to add some other like greenery. So I'm just going to do a little long thing and some little small ones just to kind of break it up a little bit. I'm going to put another one coming out here. Kind of like little ferns. Something tropical, right? And another one here. All right, so we've got our sprig of flowers. Awesome. And I just want some leaves. Perfect. Some leaves. Yep, leaves are good. Okay, so from here, we're going to start our head. So we're going to do the front part first. We're going to come up, come around, and come over. It's kind of like a skinny long C kind of, kind of shape. So you're going to come out, you're going to come out, and you're going to come around. And this is the front of the, her face. Awesome. And then we're going to put the back part on. So you're going to pretend that this line goes through, 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 through. So it would come out there. Come out there and we're going to go out, around, and down. And now this is as long as you want your body. Or your neck, sorry. This isn't your body yet, your neck. Okay, so I'm going to bring my neck, let's see, right to about there. And I'm going to add my body. And mine is actually probably going to go off the page. Mine too. Yours too, yeah. So depending upon where you draw your flamingo, it might go off the page. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to arc, big arc over. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to bring my neck. And I'm going to follow this line, right, follow this line, and then I'm going to come out for the chest. I'm going to go big and out. And my line got kind of funny here. Kind of funny. That's okay. <laughs> I'm drawing with a sharpie. It makes it hard to make those adjustments, huh? Mm -hmm. No big deal. Now we're going to add her beak on. So I'm going to put her beak kind of right here, curve that line down, and then bring it up. And then fill in. The tip. And then let's put um, her wing in here. So if you did not go off the page like I did, you can add these little fi tail feathers here. And then we're gonna do this um, <coughs> inside feather. You ready for the inside feather, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna come up, you're gonna use this angle, see this angle of my top? I'm gonna bring that angle here, mine's gonna go off, but I'm gonna pretend it comes back on and just kind of bring it back. A loop, 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 and then bring it back up. Perfect. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so now we're gonna draw her legs. Yours got the loop, mine only got there. Yeah, let's put an eye on her. She's looking like she needs an eye. So I'm gonna do the same kind of eye. A little arc. And then some eyelashes. <laughs> Alright, so let's put our legs in here. I'm going to do another one of those little V's. And she's kind of standing different. So I'm not going to fold her legs, I'm just going to have her kind of standing. 
This one will be right I'm here. Gonna show the one. And then come back down. Yours just shows one leg, yeah. And it goes off the page. Off the page, because she's standing lower, yeah. Love it. Okay, so should we draw the crayons? You want to put your eye on there and fill in the little tip of your beak? Oh, I wish I was with my mommy right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's put a crown on them. So for the crown, you go... Just like the lion. Up at an angle. Up at an angle. And then you come down and down. And you meet it back up. Up and down. Okay. Hello, hello, Lacey. Okay, and then let's put a crown on Mommy. So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna come up. Now, if it goes to your flowers, then you just skip through the flowers like mine's gonna go through. Down on one side, down on the other, up and down. Awesome. Mine only went through a leaf. Yours only went through a leaf. Mm -hmm. All right. Tiny little bird. Tiny little bird. Tiny little bird. Okay. Tiny little bird. So I think we're to the point where we can paint. No. I just did. I painted that and then I added some details in. If you want to add some grass. Um, I just did a super sloppy sketch of some grass down here and then painted it and I actually painted it first before I drew but we can draw some grass down here. This is boop, boop, boop. And then maybe another one up here. Nothing fancy. Just basically some scribbles, huh? All right, if you want to put a sun in the sky or some palm trees or something, um, I painted some palm trees. I just liked that it was really soft. You want to use crayons instead of painting those details in, then you can do that. Color pencils. And then with the hearts, I just painted those in also because I just wanted them to be really soft. Oh, no worries, Lacey. I am working on getting my music here started. Mom. Yeah. Why is this just there? It says, hi ladies. The McKay's are here. Uh, why does it say the second one? It says we're, we're late, but we made it. We're late, but we made it. <laughs> All right, so let's paint. Here's your brush. Are you still outlining? No. No? I just finished. You just finished? Okay, do you want me to help you erase? Yeah. Do it really fast. Put this one here so that you all can see it. Lacey says your flamingos look amazing. They are so fun. Wait, is this the red? Is uh, this the red? The bright red? No, I have it upside no, down uh, because uh, I was using yeah. this lid as my mixing. This is I'm the just pink gonna that use I it more of this. So. I know I'm using red. You're gonna water it down. I love that watered down red. It's pink. Of course, did you know flamingos come in like orange and 
um, depending upon how much color their shrimp that they eat have. Kind of depends upon how bright they are. This is what I was told. I'm hoping it's the same. Rebecca can't wait for the polar bear. Next week. On Monday. The very first one. Polar bears on Monday. Okay. Wait, did you mix right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. The red and the tricky painting on non-watercolor paper. I'm actually going to add some orange to mine. Hey, me too. You're copying me. <laughs> That's a lot of orange. Let me get rid of some of that orange. I've got an orange flamingo, folks. <laughs> That came out way too bright that I wanted. I'll tame that down a little bit. Maybe we should test it before we. <laughs>
is what's meant to be. And then you can start another another one another time. You could have a whole mama collage of this one. No. Of flamingos. No. Over. The other way, yeah. Hang on, no. Me, just a second. I'm gonna get the playlist on. Uh oh, I'm trying to reconnect. Hopefully it reconnected us. I just got a screen saying reconnecting, so if you guys can hear and see me, give me some, or see what we're doing, give me a thumbs up so I know we didn't, like, lose completely, right? Found something to look forward to tonight. Mom found something to look forward to tonight. Yeah, I know. You're excited to watch your movie. Uh huh. Really excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you. You're gonna watch it with us, right? Yeah. Of okay. course. Okay. Normally you're working. And it's sad. And there's sad times. A little bit too much water on my brush. 
a lot of water. I need a lot of water on here. Can you go back one, please? After a couple other songs. This one or the five? Mm, good saxophone. <laughs> I'm gonna put some hearts in here now. Oh, so pretty. Can I use this little corner of your dish over here? My heart. Mm -hmm. It is all done. I'm all doing that now. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. 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 This looks like a palm tree is kind of coming down. I love it. I'm going to add another green, I think, to this. Thank you, Robin. You guys enjoy your day. Have a fabulous weekend. This music is going crazy. <laughs> he is enjoying his saxophone. Maybe he doesn't like a saxophone, but that's how the song goes. <laughs> Never know. Might be a girl. A little more muted. Oh, what happened to our lime green here? Lime green exploded. Oh, crazy. Had some orange trees. How you doing? Good. Good. Our water is getting really muddy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna use this pink anymore? I'm shutting the lid. I'm gonna use this gold glitter pen. I'm gonna color in my my crowns. Don't forget, we're gonna use the um, glitter, actual glitter. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the orange for what was the orange for? I don't know. Were you gonna make something or? 
can always wash it out and go back and get some more if you're not sure where to put it. <laughs> I've done that sometimes. Wait, why did I get this color in my paintbrush? No. There we go. So weird. I'm gonna go back over this one and color this in. It's like water. Yeah. Do you like the salt? Or the crayon section? I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. But it might go away. Add some glitter to our flower, too. Can never have too much glitter. Bye bye. See you guys. See you Monday. Do you want the glitter pen out? Oh no, you're doing real glitter. I'll get my glue pen out for you. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna clean this so you don't get, end up getting glue on places you don't want it because it got all over with my hand. You just have your flower. Ah! <laughs> I'll go get the ah! glitter. Okay. Did you want gold, honey? Yeah. your gold pen ready. Brown! I want to swam in the sea brown. Yeah. I'm going to get some water. Wash it out too. Oh, yeah, okay. So I can actually work this. Make sure that's it. clean. No, I'm adding water to water. Yeah, get it? Adding some water to water. Oh, I see. You know what you could do is you can crumple this up and kind of go like that, and it'll leave a, um, like a mark, you know? Mm -hmm. And it'll give you some texture, some water, like. It's kind of fun. And then here, let's wipe your space again. All right, are you just about done? Almost. Okay. Making my pink. No, we haven't seen that movie. What is it? Zombie ap appropriate? Watch zombies, appropriate movie for the fun singing. Oh, I see. No, haven't seen that movie. We aren't. We don't watch a lot of movies. <laughs> I think we're, um, I don't know. You think we're, we, you don't know? Well, we just, there's not a lot of movies that, um, we watch. We watch. What are you working on now? 
the hearts. Oh. Well, kind of <laughs> orange. <laughs> Alright, we'll watch Taylor paint her hearts on here mm -hmm. and then um, we'll say goodbye to you guys. We hope you all have a really fantastic weekend. Another big beautiful. Love, love, love your heart. Wait, can they just watch me do the glitter magic part in my heart? Well, we have to wait for your whole thing to dry. No, we don't. No, we don't. No? No. You see where the glue is? Bye bye. All right. Okay, and okay. Now for the magic part. Okay, so I'm gonna use my glitter pen. No, I would. No, that's not a glitter pen. I mean a glue pen. And I'm gonna do it. Okay. So you fill in the areas you want glittered. Fill in hers too, and we'll glitter them at the same time. You can do mommies, and I'll do babies. You can do them both. You said glitter them at the same time. So sprinkle a little bit on there. It, 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 it. Mom, you said after another song. That was like three songs. Okay. And now I'm gonna dab this a little so that when we um, shake your glitter out mm -hmm. it won't run okay so you don't have to hold it back it'll just stay back and I got just, it it comes out fast so just glitter gently Ooh. okay so now we're gonna use that same glitter down here and I'm gonna put this on a piece of paper so that I can put it back in the bottle Glitter is my favorite color. Okay, are you gonna color in your flower or are you done? Is it gonna be a black and white flower? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's flip this around. And we are going to say bye, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And thanks again for joining us. Um, don't forget to post your artwork. We'd love to see what you do and create with us. Bye.